Welcome back to another styling bundles video. I am going to pull up their mood boards that I made for them. I'm doing it a little bit of a different way than usual than just scrolling through their entire Pinterest board and showing you. I've made a mood board specific like to the outfits that I'm going to try to style off of. Let's pull up this bundle that went to Switzerland first. Okay, so here is her mood board. She's wanting baggy jeans, parachute and cargo style pants. The colors she likes is like blacks, browns, light and dark blues and white. She's looking for more tank tops. She's looking for Ed Hardy and Bape streetwear vibe. And you can see all that through the mood board here. So let me show you her bundle. So in the description, she said she was looking for more tank tops, parachute style, and cargo pants. So that's what these two outfits are. And you saw the mood board I put up. So I feel like this very much vibes with all of that. She also sent me a lot of pictures of like silver and metallic type details and jewelry and just stuff like that. So this velour Fila track jacket, I think really goes with her vibe. It has like some silver metallic details on it and the embroidery and then i found her this white house black market layered tank top it's got a white layer underneath with this really pretty heather gray on top and it's got this really cute little like cinched tie detail right here and then on both of the straps it does this little like twist detail on it i thought it was really cute and gave me her vibe and it was giving me like her color likes with the white the black and the neutrals and the light blue and dark blue it ties into these cargo baggy pants they're like a really nice light blue color and have all these nice pocket and button details all over them and i feel like it goes really good with the light vibe of the top and then the jacket just goes with so much stuff and then for accessories i went ahead and popped in these silver star and metallic little clips that I actually own too. I wear them all the time and I thought it looked cute in her hair. And then in her mood board, as you saw, these type of sunglasses were there and Robbie actually found these for me. They also have some rhinestones that will tie in great with the little clips and they say they are actually Ferragamo. I'm not sure if they're real or not. And if they are though, this is a total blessing, but I think she'll love them regardless because they're, they're in the exact style that she wants. And for the second look, we have another tank top because it was in her wants. And this is such a good, thick, knitted tank top material. And it's just a nice neutral forest muted green color that I think will go with so many things. It'll go really good paired under that jacket as well. And then I also saw some like baggy sporty-ish style t-shirts in the description photos she sent me. So I have this baggy long sleeve t-shirt. She could also pair it over the tank if it's a little bit chilly outside still in Switzerland. And then for these bad boys, they're a pair of corduroy brown parachute cargo pants with a bunch of pocket and button details again. And then I popped on this super thick black leather belt that has a metallic like chrome weathered aged silver rose belt buckle that I think will go with so many things, including these pants. And then for a fun third option, she said she was looking for two piece matching sets. And the other day I actually came across this awesome two piece matching set. This is more of like a going out party vibe to me, but I think everyone needs something like that in her their wardrobe. And I think the top will also go with any of the bottoms also. So it's this sheer micro mesh and velour material and it has this really flirty and cute tie in the middle. Has a nice cute little collar. And then the pants are nice stretchy and fitted and they come down to this really pretty flare. For another accessory I'm throwing in this awesome little crossbody brown bag. It has tons and tons of pockets. A bunch on the front, two middle pockets and then two on each side. And it can be adjusted to a shorter strap or a longer strap, whatever she's feeling. And I feel like it'll go with all of the outfits. And I'm also throwing in this metallic ball chain bracelet along with these metallic silver rings because I saw that in some of the photo examples. That is her bundle. Let me know what you think in the comments. So this next bundle is going to North Dakota and this is actually a subscriber of mine. Her name is Rachel. Hello, Rachel. I know you're watching. You're always commenting under my videos and posts on Instagram and stuff. So thank you so much for ordering a bundle. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments and so everyone else reading can know as well. 
So her color likes are black, white, gray, reds, dark greens, dark navy, and browns. Her don't wants are skinny jeans or capris. Her style inspirations that she gave me were iGirl, me, Brookie Babe on IG, Hot Cheeto Queen on IG. And then she gave me a little section of her personal style. She said she's inspired by the late 90s, early 2000s mall goth brands, loves funky flares, statement jackets, basics with a twist, and the rock of love slash rock stars girlfriend vibe. So let's get into her bundle. So I'm gonna start over here. I have this really amazing Fredericks of Hollywood little corset bustier style lingerie top. There's no boning in it, but it does have like cups for the boob section. And it's just so pretty. And it has this lace trim down here at the bottom, this deep blue and black lace layover situation with like ribbons, adjustable straps. Here's better, here's more of the detailing up close. Like, it's just so amazing. It just gives me that like sexy rock style girlfriend, rock of love vibe that she was mentioning. And just gives me like the vibe of her mood board and just her all around. And then I have this Union Jack heart necklace with this uh, either a Z or an N on it, rhinestone with it, I don't know. Just thought it was cute. Goes with the vibe of the like rock star girlfriends. Cute little chain. Show you the detail on the back of this. It's so cute. The back has this amazing little cutout situation, and it's like a little A cut right here. And then it has a cute big bow right here. Just stretchy straps. It's all micro mesh on the back. This is just such a good. Top. And then look at these bad boys. They're like a shiny snakeskin print with this rose pattern on it. It's like burnt orange and like tan and brown and pops of blue and like this muted tannish khaki green. So rock star girlfriend vibes, rock of love vibes. And they're dead stock revolt. So I mean, what is better than that? These are just so incredibly cool. And I like how the blue in the top ties into the little bit of pops of blue in the pants. And this bag was giving me this vibe right here. I'll throw the picture up of the, uh, I think it's a trip bag that she had saved on her Pinterest board that I put in the mood board. And then I found this in storage that I had and it's literally in the same like silhouette. It's fuzzy like the one she had saved. It's just a different color and it's just not trip. And it's brand new. It's never been worn. It's still got like the packaging on it. This is just so cute. And it's got rhinestones. And then on the back, it has like this patent snakeskin on it. So it just goes so well with this. And you know, the brown tones tie in great with the pants. And then it does have like the zipper closure. And then it does have this little clasp as well. How cool is this purse? And then it's got like the chain length detail right here. And then the strap is the same as the back. And it'll go with all of the looks. And then moving on to her second look, I printed her a ribbed tank. It's like a nice and fitted ribbed baby tank. And it has this cool skull and crossbones with the local weirdo. And then it has my logo on the back, as you can see. Just a perfect staple for the spring and summer and honestly fall time that she can layer probably until it just gets so chilly. Honestly, she could layer this all year long, depending on what she puts up underneath it when it gets colder. And then I recently thrifted this amazing, like fake leather with the fur trim on it. Just gothy, mall gothy coat of your dreams. And she did mention that she absolutely loved it in one of my videos. So hopefully this will be such a great surprise for her to actually get it in her bundle. And then these pair of jeans are also giving me that like early, 2000s rock of love contestant girl it's like this whole bundle is just like a sexy rock of love rockstar girlfriend and i love the fading the contrast fading on these pants and then it has these amazing floral and butterfly with rhinestone details up the leg right here and it's like this like felty velour material i think there's some on the back as well in one of the pockets it's cute little butterfly on this back pocket and then this is the brand of the jeans and then she mentioned wanting a solid color black, like cadet style hat. And I had this one laying around and then I decided to throw this little safety pin and two of the grommet details. And I think that will go so good with this outfit right here. 
along with these amazing pink like shield rhinestone frames like come on with the hat the sunglasses the jacket the tank top and the jeans so good and the hat and the glasses will also go so good with this look as well as well as this jacket with this outfit it just all of it's so interchangeable you know i try to do that with all of my bundles and i am throwing in a bonus look so i'm giving her this cky shirt for my personal closet that does have this little v cut out right here i found it like that and then someone left the like neck part of it so if she doesn't actually like that she can always just remove that but i think it's cool it adds like its own little like choker to it and yeah it's just a really cool graphic and it's cky it's just the perfect like early 2000s rockstar girl tee and then here i have this bodycon corset style skirt is like totally adjustable to however you need it and these do come out kind of long so obviously if they're too long or she doesn't want to like play around with wrapping them around and tying them and everything she can always trim it and then it has this really cool detail right here where it looks like some garter straps with the silver detailing on it and i just think an oversized t-shirt with a bodycon skirt in general or just like a tight mini skirt is just so like effortlessly rockstar girlfriend and i think the contrasting of the light skirt with the dark colors going on and the shirt goes so good together and then the yellow kind of like ties in the creamy color too that is her finished bundle let me know what you think in the comments this was so much fun to do all of my bundles are so much fun to do i don't know why i say that at the end of them because obviously i'm having so much fun doing this but i love this let me know your thoughts on it for this bundle it's going to virginia and she told me that she is completely open to anything. Her color likes that she gave me were black, forest greens, greens, wine reds, darker purples, baby blue, and baby pinks. And that she doesn't like three-fourth quarter length sleeves. That was like her only limitation that she gave me, but she was open to anything else. And then she said her style inspirations were Dank Girl, uh, Your Lover Girl, Phoebe Buffay, and Ramona Flowers. And she said her personal style was whimsy gothic plus witchy goth, but also really likes scene and hipster styles like Dank Girl. Just haven't found anything that fit that. And she said that Ramona Flowers is also a huge inspiration. This bundle was so much fun to put together. Let's get into it. Okay, so obviously she didn't send me any inspo pictures. She just kind of gave me like a brief over of what she was looking for and her personal style. So she said her personal style leans more towards like 90s, early 2000s whimsy goth, but she really likes the scene and hipster type vibe of like the early 2000s to mid 2000s, but she couldn't really find any items for herself that she liked in that style or was searching for at the thrift or whatever it be. So I wanted to give her more of that vibe over here and then I gave her like a mix of like whimsy goth and scene and uh ramona flowers because she said that's a big inspo as well and i'm going to show you that with all the layering of the tights and everything too so it's like a hipster scene ramona flowers and then just a little bit of whimsy goth thrown in over there so i guess we'll talk about this first look it's the whimsy gothic look kind of giving me the phoebe buffet mixed with a little bit of scene as you'll see with the tights so i gave her this micro mesh sheer little like what do you call this little flared sleeve short cardigan that she can tie in the middle or leave it open or style it however she wants with other things i just think this looks so cute together and then i gave her this more muted tone dark blue white and green plaid mini dress and if it ends up being too short because i know she is kind of taller I thought pairing these vintage like aqua teal tights would look so cute with the coloring going on here. And I even thought maybe the tights that I'm giving for this other outfit, it's this like tiger zebra print style would look so good like layered over that. So it would be the color of that with this mixed with this print, which is the more like scene version instead of like the whimsy goth version of this outfit, I feel like it could go both ways. And then obviously for the rest of the outfits, I went very 2007 to 2010, like scene hipster vibes. She told me she liked pink and purple and whites and black. 
So I made sure to incorporate that in a lot of the looks along with like some neutrals and this fun metallic vibe that was giving me like club scene rave vibe. First we have this pink and purple and white polka dot with hearts, little strapless top that has this really cute hoodie little pocket situation going on with a thick band. It has like a ribbed textured material going on. Then I gave this really cute denim mini skirt with two really cute looking cargo pockets on the side. It gives like this really cute pleat coming down from the pocket. I thought that was so cute and interesting. Gave me very like 2007 vibes for some reason. And here on the back, it has like a different type of pocket, but still has those cute little pleats coming off of it. And then it's straight in the middle. I just think these are, so, this is just such a cute, interesting skirt that I feel gives like a hipster scene vibe, but she could also do in her own style too. It's a very versatile skirt. And then I gave for jewelry on this one, a really cute Jonas Brothers like guitar pick necklace with a chain on it. But if she doesn't want to wear it the Jonas Brothers way, then she could just use it as like a little silver guitar pick. I think that'd be really cute. And then this gave me such scene rave vibes. It's this clear beaded necklace with this uh, silver metallic chrome little crown situation going on. Thought those layered up together would be so cute. And then for another option with the skirt, thought this really cute neon vibe like ribcage skeleton v-neck t-shirt it's just a really cute casual scene vibe you know what i mean like i definitely own this back in 2010. also forgot for this outfit and even if she wanted to pair it with this outfit i just described these really cute blue strawberry clips to just pop in the hair for a really cute like mall scene vibe so this one i absolutely love this harajuku mini lovers top it's so cute i love that graphic of that girl on it and then the contrast checkerboard sleeves this is just so scene vibes and then paired with that i have these super mini silver metallic shorts that are just perfect to style literally all throughout spring summer and fall and then i thought these zebra or tiger or whatever you want to call them tights would look so cute paired with this just so the contrast of the prints would go together and even if she wanted to style it with this too it's just contrasting prints is such a scene vibe. So especially animal prints with like stuff like this, I feel like. So I feel like that would look really cute under that or she can even wear it without it once it gets even hotter. And this will be like a super like baby tee on her too. It'll be such a cute vibe. And then for this outfit here, we have these amazing bondage strip pants. They come down to a straight leg. They're not quite a skinny jean. They're like more like a straight leg. It would be perfect to pair some like Converse with or some like combat boots, whatever she feels. It has these amazing like buckle details around the entire knee and then zippers down the leg right there, all the zippers and like these little D-rings she can put chains on if she wants to. There's that trip logo. And then there's also some of that zipper detailing on the back of the leg. As you can see, it like, these pants are so dang cool. I'm very jealous they do not fit me. They are gonna be just like an inch or two too big on the side. So I threw in this amazing plaid belt that was actually mine from when I was a kid. So I threw that in. I feel like it would go with these pants and this skirt and anything else you wanted to use the statement belt for. I just absolutely love finding that trip tag. Like it doesn't happen very often for me. And then here I have another strapless little scene, little hipstery vibe top. So it's really cute, like asymmetrical hemmed lace double layered top and then it has this really pretty black velour tie that she can cinch her waist in and like be super snatched with it i think that would be so cute with this look and then with that skirt and i'm sure she has tons of bottoms that she could pair with this like it's just such a classic piece she can use in like a whimsy gothic way or even a scene hipster way so i feel like it'll be very versatile in her closet like i feel like that top would even look so good with that little micro mesh little cardigan layover thing. For another necklace, I'm giving her this really busy chain because because if you know like old scene culture and everything, you know it's just like gaudy busyness. So it says love and rhinestones and then it has 
a Union Jack and a Shamrock. So, you know, very random, very gaudy, very the vibe. And then I'm also throwing in these cherry with this really cute dog hair clips and these have rhinestones. They're a um, hair tie actually with the cherries and then these are the clips. I just feel like that's a very seen vibe. And then the red ties in perfectly with the belt too and the Union Jack. And for another fun extra, I'm throwing in this striped hooded short sleeve t-shirt with a hoodie pocket on the front. It gives me the same vibe as that one. And then for the mood board I put together, you saw that shirt that that girl was wearing that was crop. I cropped one of these um, with the hood on it. So I thought she would love this vibe. And if she wanted to go for that vibe too, she could always crop it. I think this shirt would look good with all of the bottoms. So the trip pants, the metallic shorts and the skirt. And then that shirt would look good with this. That shirt would look good with this. There's just so many options in this bundle. I feel like she is going to love at least the individual pieces. Hopefully she'll love the way that I'm gonna describe to style it for her, but I'm hoping she'll find use for these pieces regardless. Let me know what you think about this bundle. I had so, so much fun putting this one together. I'm about to continue with the last bundle of the week. Uh, I'm sorry if my voice is gonna be shaky throughout the next one. I'm gonna try to collect myself over the next hour before I have to finish my work and get everything sent out because the show must go on. But I just got news this morning that my parents cat, which was my family cat, we got him back in like 2004, um, drowned in the pool this morning. And which don't get me wrong, he lived a long, like almost like, I think it was 19 years, but I mean, he was so old and you know, to go like that is just so awful. I just really hope he didn't suffer. So I am just all fucked up about that right now. Um, I just wanted to be real with y'all. And if you hear my voice like being shaky or cracking or anything in the next bundle, that's why. So yeah. Actually, I think my mom was telling me earlier that the vet, last time he went, said he was about 20. And that was like months and months ago. So he was probably older than what I'm thinking. She thinks I got him when I was like eight, I think. And that cat was my dad's like little buddy. You know, like we found that cat in the McDonald's drive-thru. I remember me and my mom were like ordering at the drive-thru and, um, when she was like talking or in between my mom talking to the person on the other side, she kept hearing like a cat meowing and my mom kept calling it. She opened the door and a little baby kitten head popped out and just ran up and jumped in our car. And cats don't usually do that unless they're just like ready to go home with you. So how could we have put him back out? So, and the whole time he was, I remember the whole way home, he was just riding on my mom's shoulder. Then of course, when we brought him home, my dad was like, oh my God, are y'all serious? Another animal because we're, we're notorious for rescuing just stray animals. And so my dad was always like, can you stop bringing stray animals into the house? We have enough. Like we didn't have a lot. Like we'd have like two or three at a time. And then after a few years of Mickey being around, that was my dad's best friend. So I know he's taking it hard. I know he had three jobs to do today. So I just hope he's okay. And I hope he can just like retain his emotions until he gets back home. So he's not having a shit day at work. So I'm gonna like collect myself and watch a fashion video and then we'll get back to bundles. Sorry, I just wanted to be like real with y'all for a minute. That was dramatic, I'm sorry. Okay, so this next one is in Texas. And it is a plus size bundle. She likes reds, blacks, and whites. Her wants are statement jeans, black pinstripe pants, edgier baby tees, and a statement belt. Her don't wants or don't needs are skinny jeans, bright pastel colors, low rise pants, flannels or plaid, or fishnets or dresses. Her style inspirations that she gave me were Eye Girl, Expired Threads, which is a me, of course. Too Poor, Girls From 13, Avril Lavigne, Girls From Kitty, the band, Taylor Momsen, and Liz Vicious. And you obviously get that vibe from the mood board that I've made. So we'll start out with this outfit. 
I found this amazing little polka dot cherry little fake bustier moment with adjustable straps that was just like giving me everything on her mood board and just like her vibe in general. And then she mentioned that she, one of her dream items was a pair of jeans with a lot of cool details on it, but she didn't really give me any specifics on like what details, but I found these and I thought these were just so cool. So they're like, you know, the dark wash, like almost black denim. And then it has this awesome grommet hole on each back pocket as well. Thought this was so cute. And then like these right here, and then she can always add her own like patchwork to it later on and like chains and all kinds of stuff. And she said she did, she was looking for a statement belt and I didn't really find anything too statement-y, but I thought a good classic leather grommet belt would be appreciated. And I feel like it goes so good with the pants and it obviously will go with literally anything else. And then another option on this look, I'm throwing in this striped black and white baby tee with this like really cool like scoop hem right here and it has this hot pink uh sleeve and collar situation it's like very avril vibes we'll talk some accessories um i saw a lot of the ball chain and pe big pendant like punky style stuff and like skulls so i have this antique like bronze little skull candy one that i thought was really cute and then if she wanted to put it on like a shorter chain she could always just remove it and put it on whichever type of necklace or chain or make it into a keychain, whatever she wants to do. I just thought it looked really cute with this look. And I'm giving her this fuzzy cheetah XO purse with the brown like snakeskin detailing on it with all the O-rings. And then it has it on the back as well. And there's like a big zip pocket in there. Just, just gave me her vibe as well. And then another accessory, I have this dead stock Claire's little sweat wet wristband with dice on it. So cute. And then for her next look, another dream item she told me was pinstripe flared pants. And these are awesome, stretchy, comfortable, goodness. Everything she's looking for. I love how tight the pinstripe is on it. It looks so good. And then it doesn't have belt loops, but she could always throw this belt on around her waist if she wanted to for a cute accent onto that too. And then I printed her a skull tank with my little logo on the back. And then it has a really cute little lace trimmed neckline with a cute little ribbon, like a satin bow in the middle. So it gives like a little feminine vibe right there mixed with the masculine, mixed with like the more, you know, hardcore skull graphic. This really cool braided wire, like chain length wired adjustable to like her measurements around her neck as well. And it has these really cool spikes. I threw in two more top options that I thought she would enjoy and I thought would look really good with both of the pants options as well. But here we have this really cool black, red and white swirly patterned, uh, ribbed, like funky textured, flowy little baby tank. I'm hoping that's how it's gonna fit on her. I think it will. And I think it'll look good with those pants and those jeans and really anything probably she has in her closet already. How gorgeous is this like creamy colored bow looking corset style tank top. It's got the lace and just like stuff that looks like it could be boning, but it's not. And then it's a double layer. So it's got the sheer layer right here and then just like a cream colored tank. It's gonna get hot where she lives. It probably already is getting very warm. So I feel like these are all very good options. Let me know what you think about this bundle and I think I'm gonna try it on for y'all real quick if I can. Okay, so I found another pair of pinstripe pants that I really wanna add into her bundle. They are a little bit different. They have a actual button and zipper and they have like this pink and black and white stitch or pink, black and white pinstripe detail. So I'm gonna add both of the pants in there. It has this really cute back pocket on it as well. And then a cute like one little belt loop on this pocket. So she could still wear a belt with it too if she wanted to. Okay, so here's those pinstripe pants on with the purse and one of the tanks. Just imagine all the jewelry on because I already have it packed up and a lot of it already has its packaging on it. Just imagine with some uh, platform boots or Converse or just, you know, nice little punky grungy shoe. And the jeans are a little bit too small for my hips. Her hips are a little bit smaller than mine. So I don't want to try to even squeeze those on and potentially like rip them or anything. So I'm just imagine the jeans with all of this stuff too. Here are the other pants. It's more of that classic pinstripe and it's just like that stretchy waistband material. 
and I love it with this shirt and this print of this bag. I feel like the colors go so good together. And then layered up with all the jewelry and everything, along with like the way she does her hair and makeup. Cause like she's a little bit more, she's a little bit more full on top than I am. So I feel like she'll fill all these tops out so good. And then yeah, again, a pair of classic Converse or just like gothy boots. 